What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to best utilize the threshold to get the best looking effect for your design. Firstly, you wanna go ahead and introduce the threshold in itself and then play with the threshold levels. Now for good reference, the right side is all the shadows, the left side is all the highlights. You wanna be in between the shadows and the highlights, but forwarding the highlights a bit more because we're gonna add detail into the shadows anyway. So I like it about here where you can still see the hat and everything else, but just the shadows are not too dominant, but just because of the nature of this image alone and a lot of the shadows are coming from the text, we can't really help that unless we want a completely white image. From here, you just wanna exit out of your properties and you don't wanna to touch your properties again or touch the threshold again. Because if you keep playing with it, the design tends to look a little bit too busy or a bit ugly. From here, you wanna click your image and then go to filter, noise, add noise. Now, I like to stick in between 18 and 20 regarding larger images that have a bit more shadows. But if you have a different image where it's a lot of highlights, go with something a bit more than that. And if you have a really shadow heavy image, tailored towards a more light 10 to 12 roughly, because that really dictates how much noise you wanna add into your image. Now, the reason why I like adding noise is because you can actually visually see it while you're applying it. And you can go ahead and look at the image and be like, mm, this is good, this is trash. You can add in a bit more. But if you add too much, then your image looks very, very grainy. Almost like a photocopy that's been done poorly without a lot of ink. But let's go back to the original. I'm liking how this is looking right now. And to cut the image out, you can just add in a new layer. Go to select color range. From here, you want to select your shadows. Press OK once you've got your shadows selected. And press G or go to the paint bucket tool in Photoshop and fill that in with black. Now, essentially, that's just cutting out your threshold so you have an image that you can go to production with. I see a lot of people do this tutorial, but don't really show you guys how to cut it out. That's simply how you cut it out. I'm going to show you guys how I would usually do it for a project and make a bit more unique looking design. You can either do it two ways. You can keep your noise or you can get rid of it, but you want to add in a new texture. Now, the texture is going to allow you to make a sort of bitmap effect. For this one, I'm going to be using a texture that I downloaded from Texture Labs. It's called Glass, and it's just like this really um, bad screen effect. But once you add it in, create a clipping mask and then change the blend mode and then change the blend mode to around soft light, you get this really cool looking effect. But since we have a lot of the noise, you can see a lot of detail in the highlights because of the texture in itself. Turn off that noise and look how the image is looking. It's like a futurist, it's like a futuristic bitmap looking effect. And the mixture between this really futuristic texture and the cowboy girl is giving me vibes from the movie Nope. And I really like the aesthetic how it's looking right now. And you could do the same exact steps to cut it out. But other than that, that's essentially how I use thresholds in my designs to make a really cool, unique graphic. Take care. Peace.